so hello everyone uh, today is my next video on uh, partnership in my previous video i talked about sole proprietorship and the improved version of sole proprietor is now the second form of business organization that is partnership so it basically partnership form of business organization is evolved to overcome the shortcomings of sole proprietor and also joint hindu family business if we talk about what is partnership basically partnership is formed by two or more members each of whom is liable to the firm's debt so two or more individual may form a partnership by either make written or oral agreement stating that they will carry on a business jointly and will will also share the profit and a partnership is therefore a group of person who have contributed the capital for setting up some business and it you can also say that partnership is a voluntary association of two or more person who agree to carry on some business jointly and share its profit and losses the person who enter into partnership are uh, individually called as partner and collectively it is called as firm so a uh, few definition of partnership uh, which is famous which is uh, in the partnership act that partnership is the relation between person who have agreed to share profit of the business carried on by all or any one of them acting for all this is one of the main principle of partnership so if we with this definition we can also talk about different features of partnership like in partnership there need to be two or more person and the maximum number in uh, to be in partnership is uh, 50 which has been mentioned in companies act 2013 means in recent amendment number of members is not been mentioned in partnership act it has been mentioned in companies act 2013 other than this partnership is a um, agreement because partnership is the outcome of an agreement between two or more person and the relation of partnership arises from the formation of the contract and uh, not from the status of the birth as we uh, have in joint hindu family so if a part, uh, proprietor gives a share in the uh, profit to his employee it will not be called partnership unless there is an agreement of partnership between the two so the agreement may be oral or in written but it must satisfy all the essentials of valid contract act mean to say it must uh, uh, they it should be uh, from free consent there should uh, not be cohesiveness there uh, they should be mentally of sound mind right so these are the essentials of valid contract other than that uh, partnership is a lawful business a uh, partnership can be formed only for the purpose of carrying on the business only so an association of person who jointly own a house without carrying on a business is not partnership right so moreover the business carried on by the partner must be lawful so any type of illegal act like theft smuggling these type of work cannot be uh, considered as partnership other than that uh, we talk about sharing of profit because the agreement between the partner must be to share the profit of the business and there can be no partnership without the intention of mutual gain so the profit must be distributed among the partners that to in an agreed ratio similar losses should also be shared among the partners other than that we talk about mutual agency in partnership so partnership business can be carried on by all the partners and by any of them acting for acting on behalf of the other so every partner is an you can say implied agent of other partner and of the firm and each partner is liable for act performed by other partners on the behalf of the firm so there should be an utmost good faith because in partnership one partner can bind the others by any of his acts per form uh, any of uh, you can say act performed in the normal course of business therefore partners have a duty to observe at most good faith in the business dealing they must disclose all the information they possess to the other and be true to each other we also talk about unlimited liability of the partner because each partner is liable for an unlimited extent of the firm's obligations towards outsider so this means that if the partner's asset is in uh, adequate to meet its 
that uh, in full even the personal property of the partners can be attached to satisfy the claim here restriction uh, on transfer of share is also applicable because no partner can transfer a share in the partnership without the prior consent of all other partner right we also talk about uh, there is no legal entity in partnership because a partnership firm has no uh, independent ex existence without partners therefore in san uh, insolvency retirement insanity or the death, death of the partner can bring um, end of the business so basically these were the features of uh, partnership uh, in my next video basically i will be talking more about uh, this topic partnership till then thank you see see you in my next video series